Flint Marco, also known as Sandman, has had a complicated story. Sometimes people felt sorry for him because he wanted to make up for his mistakes, while at other times he acted like a hardened criminal. But it seems like we truly show who we are when we have to deal with the possibility of dying because... I remember like it was yesterday. I want to scream, don't do this. This ain't the life you want. This is where it all went wrong. But you can't change the past. You sure can relive it, though. You see, Sandman is currently grappling with some serious health problems. He is unable to maintain his human form without the aid of special pills. I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine! Also, his mind is deteriorating, driving him to insanity. Just like that, I've lost control. I'm watching it again, through eyes that I can't even operate. Why? Why? The Osborns are done! His syndicate is finished! I can't control my body. I can't scream to tell him I'm not who he thinks I am. This isn't even my memory. It feels like the end. Are you... can we call someone? No, just let me... Someone call the ambulance! Upon receiving news from J. Jonah Jameson, Peter Parker discovers that Sandman has been sighted at the hospital. Sensing something unusual, Peter decides to pay him a visit. Marco? <sighs> of course, Spider-Man. Who else would it be? I'm losing my mind and still have to deal with you. Look, I'm not... I'm not here to start anything. I just... what's going on? Sandman then explains to Spider-Man about his health problems and tells him that there is not a single being in the world that can help him. Dr. Hank McCoy or, or Tony Stark. Maybe he can make you a... I don't know, like an Iron Man version of a sandpail. There's gotta be... Nah. Sandman also explains that he keeps seeing his life flash before his eyes. And also... I see a life I never lived. Weird bits of the future. But it's not my future. I... I feel it. I die here. Now. Something's showing me a thing I'll never get to. You should just... just go. Live my life on my own. No reason I shouldn't die alone. Spider-Man understands that he can't do anything else, so that's when he decides to... Where's your favorite spot in the city? And that's when we see Sandman reliving his past again. But when he wakes up... Still with us? Uh, yeah, sorry. Thanks for this, Bug. Ain't been here since... Since my mother used to take me here. Man, I'd spend hours making sandcastles. I was pretty... What they call it now? OCD? But the beach. Making little worlds. <laughs> you couldn't tear me away. Mom! Mom! You gotta see it! You gotta... My mom, though. Mom? She'd only bring me because the sandcastles were like a babysitter. While she sat under an umbrella, drinking the day away. When the sun started going down, and the water was creeping up on my castles, she'd be plastered. I'd have to gather everything, figure out how to get us home. Still some of my best memories. Ain't that a kicker? So what is it? Poetry? That I end up being sand? Just waiting for the water to take me away? That's when Spider-Man comes to the realization that he should likely disclose his true identity to Sandman, unveiling the person behind the mask. The last thing you see shouldn't be a mask. But Sandman explains that he doesn't want to know. Besides, I always like to picture you as butt ugly under that mask. Last thing I need before I shuffle off is to see some Chris Evans motherfucker under there. You know, I can still get you to some specialists. Maybe it's not too late. Appreciate it and all, but... Yeah, it is.